What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you for stopping by for for however long you want to, uh, so I can just debut the final phase of my Jedi Temple mock. And I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So my previous video, a lot of things were unfinished, like the top portion of the sanctuary. The landing platform was more in a rough draft phase. And I didn't really get to like, you know, put any vegetation on, but now it's done. And yeah, it just really stands out. I filled it up, made it as detailed as I could possibly make it with the uh, assortment of pieces that I have. Um, I even went as far as, you know, detailing uh, the final touch-ups on the interior and the other side of the uh, cliff, the cliff face over here. Um, but yeah, so for starters here at the top, I uh, wanted to be able to kind of move this apart. You know, thinking about it now, I probably should have been it like just made it one piece that I can just disconnect but it's too late now <laughs> like I don't want to go back and tear it apart and mend it together it's fine the way it is you know the other back half of it can be detached I got the LED lighting uh, connected underneath the uh, base plates there but overall the top portion of this is sturdy it doesn't wiggle around doesn't bend or move uh, did a lot of reinforcement underneath the uh, like just the the standard area here the surface area that is but i'll get back to that in a second uh, i want to talk about real quick the figure choices that i decided to place in the uh the mock itself so starting with luthor and andor i wanted to include them just because these two uh, individuals it seems like they are going to have a uh, a pivotal role in the underground rebellion against the empire and this is supposed to be, you know, post Clone Wars, po post Order 66. Uh, moving on to why Commander Cody's here. Well, let's just say most recent episode of the Bad Batch is sort of indicating that there's something going on with the clones. I don't know. Rex have gone AWOL too. So I've heard. Rumors are more and more clones have been questioning the Order. Then they are traitors. Like the Jedi. So... What I've got here now are potentially an assortment of clones that have gone AWOL. So that is my depiction here. Hence why some of the uh, clone troopers that are up here on the top, if in case you're wondering why they're, you know, they got different legs uh, aside from their standard armor. Well, you know, I kind of got the inspiration about how Captain Rex you know, in Star Wars Rebels, he only wore his chest plate and just, you know, wore regular civilian clothing. So it's the same situation with, with these individuals up here. They are offering protection for this Jedi Temple. So they're kind of on Overwatch. A couple of them are farming. You know, they're growing their own food. So, you know, this is supposed to be a place where they're, they're trying to keep uh, hidden from the Empire, the Inquisitor. And that's due to the fact that this temple is currently occupied by a lot of wanted Jedi, such as Quinlan Vosk over here. I do think it's awesome that he was name dropped in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Quinlan was here. Yeah, he helps now and again, smuggling younglings. And that's why I wanted to include him in this mock, because he's part of this underground network of uh, surviving Jedi. I also included Barriss Afi because last I checked her whereabouts are unknown aside from the fact that from a deleted scene from Revenge of the Sith had her blown to smithereens but who knows if that's officially canon or not. But anyways yeah as far as figures go in here such as this little red protocol droid I'm very happy with what I've included here. So moving on back to the top part of the mock the uh, outside area where I've uh, set these uh, clones out here. Some of them just enjoying some food, some of them on Overwatch, just kind of watching who is uh, approaching or arriving at the platform below. I've had this uh, giant repeater blaster from Burke Arms uh, placed up here and made sure it's secured using some uh, curved little tiny uh, flat tile pieces. But I wanted to make sure this whole rocky area kind of looked nice and finished. 
don't want it didn't want any you know studs all over the place the main inspiration that i got for just creating the top portion of the mock came from jedi fallen order in particular the planet bagano i do love how this level everything was on a you know cliff area uh where there was natural vegetation at the top portions when you're exploring and that's what i wanted to do here now moving on down to the platform area um just wanted to show that this does come apart in three different sections i couldn't have this as one giant piece otherwise it'd be impossible to pick up it would break in half just because of the the weight was would be very uneven what i did just to make sure everything was you know reinforced i did build everything on three standard base plates and then uh for the water area i placed uh just a bunch of black uh base plates everywhere and just you know place clear blue tiles on top of black pieces just to give that nice deep water uh effect um as i mentioned in my previous video um if i lift this up doesn't bend doesn't shake it's very sturdy um so that's what i like to go for because yeah if i lift these up i don't want them just kind of like bending because of the weight um so yeah loved how this whole uh platform situation turned out and like i said i wanted to make sure that this was easy to transport in the future that end of the mock the entire temple itself that is about like 30 to 40 pounds i was actually quite surprised how heavy that is Back over here at the platform, before platform was kind of small, I wasn't even able to fit this uh, Jedi uh, star fighter on it. But now it seems like everything is kind of proportioned where it fits okay without looking overly large on top of the platform. So that's why I wanted to just kind of transfer this platform onto its own very own base plate. And I'm glad to, that I did. And then the walkway, I did as the best I could to make this as evenly detailed as possible. Um, I went, went as far as even including some of those masonry bricks for supports, you know, just to kind of give that old rustic charming feeling that is. Um, but yeah, it goes right into the entryway of the temple. And yeah, this is quite honestly, I don't know why, but like yet yeah, my favorite area, just because I'm a very big fan of the water environment my other hobby is scuba diving. <laughs> but anyways, perhaps in my next mock, I will include actual underwater features where there is an above surface and below surface. And I'm thinking about doing that with a Kashyyyk model that I'm brainstorming right now. All right, now we're gonna go into the interior of the temple. Not much has changed, pretty much all is still the same with some extra add-ons. Now for the interior, as you saw, I've added so many figures in here just so it could, you know, tell a story. I wanted the inside to kind of look like something that was old, but with a mixture of new tech. So the temple itself could be hundreds of years old and we've just acquired it as a place to hide out from the empire. So that's why just regarding new tech, I wanted to put like a, a comms table there um where jedi are just you know talking in communication with other jedi across the galaxy that are on the run um in addition i've included just some random pieces on the wall just to kind of i don't know give it some character um i do love the jedi holocron room um got a jedi there just using the force to levitate one with the assistance also of uh, an astromech just to kind of maybe catalog uh, a final jedi record since perhaps the one on coruscant was most likely destroyed or who knows what the you know darth sidious did with it but yeah i just i i love how it, it all turned out this whole mock or all of my mocks I just do my best to try to tell a story with, you know, what's going on. The above one, that clone base, tells the story of a battle. The Jedi Sanctuary is more, you know, something that's not as chaotic. It's just, it's peaceful, it's tranquil. Um, so I just always wanted to make a mock that's just, you know, doesn't involve so many explosions and so much chaos. This was relaxing to make. Um, but honestly, I think I'm going to go this route from now on. 
Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, doing a battle here or there is going to be fun, but uh, it's not going to be as frequent with me. But I look forward to the future and just trying to figure out what else I'm going to do. But again, Kashyyyk is on my mind. It's not going to be a battle. Again, it's going to be something more chill. Um, and I can't wait for the next uh, Jedi Survivor game uh, to come out to get more inspiration from that as well. Anywho, thanks again for watching all the way to the end of the video. And I hope to make another video soon.